125 is so weird whatever man yo guys i don't know guys if if you know with the a7 III, right now it's a iso 800 f 2.8 stop and i put 50 frames per second or like the shutter speed but like when i press record it goes straight to 125 let me know if you know the problem my a6600 here it's all good let me know the problem guys yo like does it look fine though like does it look fine no motion blur parker Walbeck will be disappointed in me bro if you don't know him change my life he's my mentor down below is his link let me know if i'm worthy of him teaching me did i learn anything does my video still look bad i don't know you tell me but yo enough talking yo this video is about five bad habits barbers make part two yo if you haven't seen part one and if you haven't seen my five tips as a barber go check it out man i was wearing the same shirt in the tips because i literally just recorded it all of these videos are not planned i just came here 12 a.m i was about to go home decided to drive here instead because uh i wanted to check if looters i didn't think there would be looters small chance there would have been looters here in edmonton alberta it's, pretty, it's peaceful but barbershops around downtown we had a, like a protest we're safe love i love edmonton man compound holding it down if you're from edmonton you don't know what compound is and you haven't heard of us yo come check us out got 10 barbers you can take care of all of you man what kind of hairstyle any hairstyle 30 bucks it's cheap cheap guys how much you paying I, you might be paying 20 bucks but yo is it like compound though is it like a family does he give you a nice fade does he give you a nice hairline does he give you a nice bead liner does he spend 30 minutes on your haircut 30 45 minutes right now actually an hour because of covid we have to clean everything every haircut no 30 bucks an hour that's value best haircut of your life guarantee but yo this hair <laughs> this is a long intro guys sorry sheesh yo five habits barbers make every day part two number one number one yo this one's gonna be better than my tip video because that my tip video it wasn't even a barber thing it was like more of a life thing if you don't know what i mean just go watch it number one for hairlines um like man bun curls anything that has baby hair in the front or even like comb over and then you know when they barely have baby hairs and then you go ahead and comb down baby hairs his hairline is perfectly fine you comb down baby hairs like a big chunk of it and then line up the baby hairs make it straight and then the rest is up guys that's so ugly stop doing that if you know what i mean comment down below if you like doing that let me know like does the client like it he might not have a choice <laughs> it's good for business standpoint because you line up those baby hairs two days later they grow back down it ain't straight no more <coughs> so he pays you more money to do the lineup but yo the client becomes monthly that baby hair grows down it looks like my fucking dora <laughs> let me know if you agree on that one yo yeah my fucking looks like dora <laughs> But yo, stop doing that, guys. If he doesn't have baby hair to begin with, don't even give him baby hair. Line up is natural. If it's not straight, then fuck it, man. Tell the client, baby hairs will look ugly after the third day, fourth, fifth, sixth, first week, two weeks. Bro, what was that noise? Where man, they're close to him, man. Hey, man. Yo, it's kind of scary. Low key. Look at my, look at my goosebumps. Yo. Look at my goosebumps. It's 12 a.m., 1 a.m. in here in the barbershop by myself. It's kind of scary. But let's get into the video. Look at my goosebumps. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of scary. Yo, number two on the list. Yo, not a lot of you guys do this, but I still have to say it. Number two habit is holding the scissors like this. I don't really want to go get some scissors because I'm kind of scared, like going over there because I heard something, but. Yo, yo, look at my goosebumps, guys. Look at my goosebumps, bro. Low key, kind of scared, high key. Yo, yo, that was, that was the scariest time of my life. I've never been scared before, but I heard something, man. Yo, I don't want this video. I don't want this video to turn to a fucking horror movie, man. Yo, let me know if you saw something while I was getting the scissors. I risked my whole life for these, man. You guys better hit like, man. That's fucking scary. If you've been to Compound by yourself, you know what I'm talking about. Yo, it's scary. It's scary, guys. Bad habit number two. Some people I see on Instagram, I don't know if you've seen this, but they hold it like this, guys. What the heck? 
Bro, I got the biggest cringe in my life. When I saw that video, man's was holding it like this. Learn the proper grip into scissors. Supposed to be like this, or like this, or like just like. It's just the thumb that moves. Like sometimes you can do that, but even sometimes I see people holding it all the way in and then and then like and then like holding it like that. Guys, fix your grip. The grip of your scissors will actually work down to your back and give you better posture, better overall posture to keep your body longer. Like once you're old and still cutting hair, you want it to last you forever, right? Um, guys, uh, you could do this so that when you're cutting the top, sorry, I need this mic, guys, this is my mic. When you're cutting the top, you keep your elbows down like this, and then you just have the scissors like that so that your your shoulders are not up all the time and it'll just save you some. So grip is very important in cutting with the shears. I see some people crazy ridiculous ways on holding it. If that's the only way you know how to do it, and if it works, I, I don't have a problem with it. I guess you do you man you do you if you guys want to learn more on texturizing techniques how to section how to do scissor haircuts even with the sides I do have a full course I do have other videos coming soon I know it's been lacking I haven't been posting any like haircut videos tutorials but I do post stuff like these so subscribe if you want to see these if you want to see me getting fucking fucking I don't even want to say it man the ghosts and everything you don't even but yo fix your posture fix your grip all right let's go to number number three number three on the list bad habit guys when you're cutting a client um, make sure you're like away or focusing your attention on the client only try not to use your phone at all or like try to minimize it um, especially if it's a new client try not to go on your phone and cut hair if it's already been your client for a long time you can probably understand it but it's just really unprofessional and you want to retain that client you want to make him special while he's in your chair being on your phone does not do those things so try to avoid that don't go on the phone I heard a noise again. Guys, I heard a noise. Bro, that's fucking scary, man. I might have to continue this video next time. Yo. I might have to continue this video next time, guys. I don't feel safe being here right now. My heart's pounding. My arm hair is up. You can see. Guys, I'm getting goosebumps. I might have to play some really loud music, but you guys will hear that. I'm kind of scared. But whatever, man. Fuck. Like I was saying, don't go on your phone all that. <coughs> I need some water. Yo, and yeah, don't go on your phone. And fourth thing, a bad habit for barbers. Fourth bad habit a barber makes every day is when you're doing a service, when you're doing a haircut, men's haircut, um, they book a 30 minute service or whatever you your appointment times are. Um, guys, even if it's your old client, your new client, always do the full service. Always style the hair after. Um, that's just that's just me. That's just my opinion on it. Never let them go out with their hair still wet. Never go out with the hair blow dried, half half ass blow dried. Always give them the full service. Like I know your client. He I know you already know he's gonna come back. You already know that it's your client. I know he just said, oh, I'm just gonna shower anyway. Always give him the full service, even though you know he's gonna style it again. You know he's gonna wear a hat because at the end of the day, he's paying for the full service and you'll keep him forever if you keep doing that. If you keep just giving him the full service and he'll see the value in you. you always feel like he's never getting shortcutted. He's never getting, you know, half-assed. Also, this way you try out the product that you like on him, even if like change, change your phrase of ooh do you want to style your hair today into yo can i style your hair today you're giving him uh, like you're giving him no choice like do you want to do it you want to do it so you're asking can i do it on you and then he says yes pretty much they always say yes they never say no you try out the product that you like and you, you the product that will work for him don't don't try to sell him stupid products that are overpriced and you're just doing it to get a little bit extra money do it because the client actually needs it and you'll know that that client that that product will work on him and he'll like it so try out that product style his hair use the comb if he doesn't know how to do it at home educate him teach him how to blow dry his hair then at the end of it he might he might want to buy that product that you explained to him I mean the product that you tried to him so always style a, a client after the haircut don't leave him just looking like a 
wet duck. I don't know what that means. But I always tell a client, always make him look fresh walking out the barbershop. Because I remember when I wasn't even a barber, I just felt so fresh. Walking out the barbershop, I all styled and shit. The supercuts, I used to go to supercuts. The supercuts lady used to put so much gel. <laughs> Bro, I thought I was fresh, even though it wasn't a fresh haircut. Yo, more noises in the outside, bro. This shit's tripping. Like, I feel like someone's just gonna come out here and just fucking that scissors. Actually, I'm I'm good, bro. You got hands those scissors. Someone comes comes at me, you're getting stabbed. I have to open it and stab him because it's not sharp. So I have to go like, I have to use the sides. Shout out Hanzo for saving my life. If someone ever try me in here, man, fucking ghost. Yo, man, this video's been too long. It's too long now. Should I even keep going? Like, I have one more thing on the list. I might as well. Yo, number five and last thing in this crazy video where I almost died. Let's finally finish it off. Um, yo, get into the habit of following up after the haircut. Guys, a service, like, it's already done. That's not it. That's not it, guys. I know the sale is already done. You've already made the money from that client. But, yo, that client could be coming every week, every two weeks. So after the first, second, third haircut, even fourth haircut, even your clients that you've been seeing for years always follow up on them like after the haircut throughout the week that's why it's nice to follow them on instagram snapchat they're your friends now guys those clients are your friends you like seeing them now you look forward to seeing them talking to them the service is not just the haircut guys i don't know if it's just me if if, if this if you disagree with this 100 percent i don't know it might just be me then but yo keep up with your clients ask them how was the haircut yo what, did you like it what did you not like about it this will make sure that you're set for life guys after like 200 clients you're set for life guys you'll be fully booked for the rest of your life if those 200 clients just keep coming back to you that's a full-time job that that like will never go away i don't know how they would stop coming to you and their kids will still come to you maybe you guys will just grow old together i don't know i don't know you might just move away they might move away but once while while the clients are still living beside you around you they're still coming to you they're still coming to you so might as well keep up with their everyday life even after the haircut i know you can i know you can just freaking have the 30 minutes with them but it's still nice to message them say what up how's it going even when they're not in the barbershop um this is very big i built up my clientele in so little time guys if you don't know i have a full-time barbering course on how you guys can take that shortcut it took me four years to open a barbershop from 2016 to now i'm 21 years old barber so if you like these tips man i got way more in my course and in my youtube videos so subscribe or consider looking at my barber course where i just give you tips and tricks that i look at also with haircutting and just a general business personal being a barber being a person that loves what he does guys those are the five tips no those are the five bad habits barbers make so let me know if you want a part three. Let me know if you want a part three. You almost cut my finger. You let me know if you want a part three. This was part two of Bad Habits Barbers Make. I'm straight dropping, dropping knowledge. So let's get busy, boys.